ready for the day with me. I'm starting out with some Magic Mind. This is a matcha adaptogens nootropics drink that helps you with mental clarity, calm energy, and I've been having a lot more motivation when I'm drinking this. Their Black Friday sale, they're giving you 50% off and that is just an incredible deal. I will put my um, link in the description and use code BLAINEBF. Again, it's 50% off only with my link and I'll put that in the description and it's Blaine BF. Magic Mind is really great for creatives and people that are creating content. Helps to put you in a flow state, which I thought was going to be BS. I'm like, what the heck? How can it help put you in a flow state? But actually, like, it's really working and I'm really finding it beneficial for creating content and being more productive overall. Okay, so what we did today is we started to declutter our household. It felt so good to just get all this crap out of my house and finally be able to sweep up my floors and mop my floors. I got a new mop. So my special project of the day was the hutch, which is the thing that my TV sits on. I actually got this from my mom. It's a piece of furniture that has been in my family for a long time. For the last couple years, we've just had random art projects, Play-Doh, um, digital cameras, uh, diamond art paintings, crayons, markers, you know, everything you can think of has been in this hutch. And today is the day that we need to clean it out. Also, Chris got us a new rug for 15 bucks at Menards. So we're winning with that. <laughs> That's my husband's name, Chris. You'll see him in and out in this um, time lapse. And then you'll also see my neighbor, Danan. Um, we also, Chris got a bunch of totes for 10 bucks each. They're black with a yellow lid from Menards. And we are putting stuff away. So I basically had a tote for the hutch. And then I pulled everything out and put it in the tote. Everything that we're not keeping. And then a couple of notebooks we're keeping. A couple of crayons and markers. And a couple of children's books. That's all we're keeping in here. I'm showing you guys our diamond art paintings that we did. We worked so hard on them. Our Stitch and our Mario. Like we're putting them in the tote because I just couldn't bear to part with them. Why is it so hard to like throw shit away? I really truly don't know. Like I, I wish I could just get it out of my life. But I'm like I worked so hard on this. Have you guys ever diamond art painted? It's actually really satisfying. But I'm not able to do it anymore right now because you know my kids are two under two. And I have no time to like even sleep. So you know we're in survival mode <laughs> over here. Um, also look at the Roku TV. I've never seen the, um, what's it called? Screensaver, like in time-lapse mode. So it looks pretty cool. It's like you're driving in a car. It looks like it's still on like the Halloween version. Can't wait till they update it to Christmas. We're definitely doing Christmassy vibes over here. We got our Christmas tree up on November 1st and we are ready to rock. Also, um, things that we've had in here were ba this baby of the year, baby of the week, whoops, um, is when James was in daycare and they did a baby of the week for each baby that was there and we have to save this. So we're just going to fold it and it's going in the tote. We also have a file folder that's full of quote important documents. So like our mortgage stuff any of the kids' school projects that, like, we want to keep will go in there. This is, like, my old planner and some random books, and they're all going in the trash bin or the donate bin. There's also some random papers from groups that I've ran in the past. Oh, and then I found my mom's pictures from before she passed away and some college papers that she had, and... It really made me cry. And then Chris is like confronting me. Like, don't look at every single little thing, Blaine. And I'm like, my mom. It's my mom. Feels so good to have energy. Oh, wow. I have an actual hole in my pants. 
everybody just ignore that and we can all move on <laughs> from our day. Pretend you're not seeing a hole in my pants. Um, yeah, I also found this hot cocoa bin that I won in like a raffle at someone's baby shower. Actually, it was my cousin Alex's baby shower. And it's so cute. It definitely goes with the holiday season. Oh my god, I am so sorry that you guys have to look at my butt in these pants. This is really embarrassing. Um, anyways, yeah, so I found a whole bunch of stuff that I can throw away. And then we started going through our mountain of laundry. Mm -hmm. So we have a running joke that says that it's called Laundry Mountain. And it's definitely hard to stay on top of laundry when you have one, two, three, and four kids. And two of them are babies. So it would seem like they don't have like as much stuff or their stuff isn't as big. But I feel like the quantity they have is just more. And then because we have an 18-month-old and a 5-month-old, almost 6-month-old... It's like um, we have everything from newborn to 2T. So we have like a plethora of baby clothes. I've been trying to get rid of all of the newborn to three months or basically new newborn to six months because Alex is growing like a weed and he can wear like nine month or 12 month clothes now. So yeah, I have to go through everything. So the the hard part is me going through it all because I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. And I have time for things that are a priority in my life. But like going through baby clothes isn't always a priority for me. Spending time with my kids, making sure that we have hot food to go into our bellies and making sure my dogs and my cats are loved and cared for. You know, those are my priorities. My kids, my animals, and myself not taking care of clothing. So that's another reason why we're decluttering because I am sick of managing so much inventory. I have watched a lot of different YouTubers surrounding this topic like the clutter bug and there's another one. Um, she's actually the twin sister to the clutter bug. It's the minimal mom. Yeah, that's what it is. So I've watched the clutter bug and the minimal mom. They are twin sisters. They have separate channels and they definitely have a separate vibe. Um, but they make me motivated to like get my life together. I used to be like obsessed with the Dollar Tree and like anything and everything you can do with Dollar Tree products. So that is, I don't know, I got hooked on like minimalism content and like Dollar, Dollar Tree bins. Yeah, anyways, I just know that I want to be a minimal mom. I want to be a stress-free, um, spending more time and experiences instead of things, instead of managing so much dang inventory type of mom. But I know it's going to be a process and I'm not going to get there overnight. Seriously though, if you have any tips towards minimalism or what you guys do to keep your clutter down, that would be great because I feel like I've been going through this process for a while and sometimes I'll be really motivated and like on board with it and then I'm like you know fall back into the habits of life so another thing that we are decluttering are random curtains because when we moved into this house we had no curtains from our old place I think we had two so then I bought a whole bunch of different curtains trying to figure out like what style we liked and then yeah, not everything worked, so I had to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Clothes, too. We got rid of a bunch of clothes and then sheets because um, some of the sheets that came with our comforters, like, they're just not the best quality. They're super flimsy, and we have enough good quality sheets that we don't need. We don't need those crappy ones. Everyone say hi to Alex. Say hi. He's uh, hanging out with me today, and Harrison was in here for a little bit too, eating his mac and cheese. So here you can just see us spending a normal day after school. Thank goodness my kitchen doesn't look that messy today. I don't know, Harrison's trying to feed you guys some ramen noodles or something. And then I'm getting James's high chair ready in the other room. And Harrison's cooking his ramen, and he cooked ramen for himself, his sister, and his baby brother. So it's really cool to have a 10-year-old because he can help 
with things while I'm, you know, trying to get the baby together, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then after the ramen was done, then I got a bowl for each of the kiddos and let them go on their merry way. I also cut up some oranges for James and Elizabeth, and I fed them to him because those oranges had seeds in them. And I don't trust him to, like, you know, not swallow a seed and choke and die. Anyways, look at Asher being such a good dog. And that's a little play mat. And James stole his brother's little, I don't know, what's that thing called? And then he proceeded to hit him in the head with it. You know, sibling rivalry things. James doesn't like Alex to have any nice things. Are your guys' kids like that? I swear, like, Harrison and Elizabeth are at each other's throats constantly. And, like, James and Alex, they're literally just born. James is only not even two. He's one years old. And he's already like, yep, nope, Alex can't have this. Alex can't have that. Alex can't have any fun in life because I'm going to take his joy. It's like, I definitely know realistically that... It's just because of his age, like he's only 18 months old, but because Harrison and Elizabeth are at each other's throats so much, it makes me think like, man, is this really how my kids are going to be all the time? Like, what the heck? It's not fun when they're not friends, you know? I don't know if you have kids that are close together or far apart. Honestly, it doesn't even matter because Harry is 10. Elizabeth is six, James is 18 months old, and Alex is six months old. So it's like, oh my god, look at how dirty my feet are. Anyway, like I have two that are four years apart, and I have two that are 15 months apart. And they're all still mean to each other. Um, so yeah, I don't even know. So I, I did get a little bit of my dishes done today. Here I'm just cleaning out the sink putting all the food in like the strainer thing and then wiping and rinsing out the sink so that I have a clean slate and then I forgot to record the rest and then you can just see me and Alex and Asher relaxing in our room before it's bedtime thank you guys so much for hanging out with me don't forget to check the description for the magic mind link it is 50% off until December 6th for Black Friday I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving and I hope you continue to love yourself, be nice to yourself, give yourself grace and mercy because nobody is perfect and have a good day. Bye.